Hello. So today, let us see the home delivery all-in-one application which can be used by any business to manage the orders received from different sources. We will begin the demo with website store orders. So if this is your e-commerce website displaying products, customers will choose the products of the choice and go ahead with placement of this order. There we go. And there you see order number 71 has been generated over here. Now the order which has been generated over here, it becomes a quotation for the backend operations manager. So he simply has to click on this quotation and confirm this order. And this is the mobile preview of the job list of Delivery Boy. This is how he can access the website through his mobile phone. So here we saw the flow of website store orders where the customer placed the order of product of his choice. Then the order was confirmed at the back end. Then also how the delivery control panel look like right from the st status of ready up to delivered and also the job list of this delivery boy. So let us now move ahead with the delivery boy job list. So this is the view that the delivery boy will get at his end. So you see order number 71 reflects at his end. So if he is supposed to deliver this order, he simply needs to click on it wherein he will get all the relevant details related to the customer that is the name, contact number and other such details. So while at the doorstep, when the customer makes the payment, he simply clicks on pay now. And you see the order over here the status now changes to paid. Once paid, he can now deliver the order. Now let us go to the delivery control screen. Here we see order number 71 is ready to be shipped. What needs to be done is assign a driver for its delivery. So if I assign one driver, here you see you get the message that it has now been assigned to the driver and the status also changes to assigned. And once he receives the payment, he simply has to click order delivered. And once he receives the payment, he simply has to click order delivered. This order number 64 now needs to be confirmed at the back end. So confirm and done. So let us now move ahead with the delivery control panel. So we see the order number 64 is now being reflected over here which is ready to be shipped and we need to assign a driver. So we assign a driver. So we have this message that it is successfully assigned. And let us now see how this appears at the delivery boy's job list. So here we go, order number 64. So while at the doorstep of the customer, he receives the payment. Wait. Let us now see the home delivery module through the web responsive mobile application. Just as we discussed before, if this is your website displaying your products and this is the item that somebody is interested in purchasing, he selects, add it, adds it to the cart, 
proceeds with the checkout makes the payment and there we see order number 64 has been generated over here let us now go ahead with placing POS orders so if this is your shop displaying your products and this is the chair that has been selected we go ahead and set the customer if Sam Matthews is a particular customer we need to set him over here next we go ahead with the home delivery tag where we assign the delivery person and the date and time to be delivered if there is any particular note you need to add, you may do so over here. There you go and you create it. So you see the order has been created successfully. Now we go ahead with the payment section. There we need to validate it as $70. And you see order number 2-36-3 has been generated successfully. Let us now see how this order is reflected on the delivery control screen. So you see the order for Sam Matthews has been assigned to Mitchell Admin. Let us now see how this job is reflected in the delivery boy's job list. So this is his job list and uh, this is a particular order that he needs to deliver to Sam. So he simply needs to click on that particular order number and there he can see all the details of the customer that is the name, contact number, the product and all the relevant details. Once at the doorstep, the delivery boy simply needs to hand over the parcel and click on delivered now. And you see, the status will now change over here in his job list to paid and delivered. And once he receives the payment, he simply has to click order delivered. And once he receives the payment, he simply has to click order delivered. This order number 64 now needs to be confirmed at the back end. So confirm and done. So let us now move ahead with the delivery control panel. So we see the order number 64 is now being reflected over here which is ready to be shipped and we need to assign a driver. So we assign a driver. So we have this message that it is successfully assigned. And let us now see how this appears at the delivery boy's job list. So here we go order number 64. So while at the doorstep of the customer, he receives the payment. Paid. Let us now see the home delivery module through the web responsive mobile application. Just as we discussed before, if this is your website displaying your products and this is the item that somebody is interested in purchasing, he selects, add it, adds it to the cart, proceeds with the checkout, makes the payment. And there we see order number 64 has been generated over here. 
Let us now move ahead with the WhatsApp integration feature. So first of all, we need to log in to the chat API. Here we see the instance ID mentioned here as well as the token ID. Now, in order to connect to the API, we need to scan the QR code from the device on which WhatsApp is registered. So we select authorization then in the WhatsApp settings feature, we go to WhatsApp web option from where we scan this particular QR code. And now you see this transaction has now been authenticated, which you can see over here. Let us now go ahead with a sales order creation. So if we are adding this particular new customer, say Angela White, most importantly, now we also need to add the correct country. So if it's India and this is the mobile number, there you go. So country, mobile number and name are the most important things so that the user gets the WhatsApp messages appropriately. Save. Add the product. So if the product over here is a whiteboard pen, we go ahead and save it and then confirm this particular order. Now we see sales order number 81 has been generated. Immediately now the customer will get a message on WhatsApp stating that the order has now been confirmed. Now this order is now being reflected in the delivery control panel. So we see order number 81 for Angela White is reflected here and we need to assign a driver. So we assign the driver. Okay. Assigned. Now Angela will receive a second message on her WhatsApp stating that the driver has been assigned for her order delivery. Let us now see how this order is shown at the delivery boy's job list end. So here you go. This is the order number 81. So while at the doorstep, when the delivery boy is delivering this order and when he receives the payment from the customer, he selects on pay now. After the customer has made the payment, he simply goes on order delivered. After which, Angela will again get a third message that her order has been delivered, which is now again reflected over here. So you see, there are three messages which an end user will get on the WhatsApp. That is order confirmation, then assigning of the driver and order delivery.